My name is Ron Kapuscinski. I've been at CNC Software a little over five years, and I am on the systems team. The most exciting thing I, our team has done this year, I feel, and over the last several years, is uh, the graphics changes to Mastercam. So for Mastercam 2019, we have three material render modes. We have metal, plastic, and glass. And we have uh, levels of opacity, so you can make them either more transparent or more opaque. So section view is a new feature in Mastercam 2019, and it gives you the ability to use a plane as a clipping plane, and you can slice through your design and actually see inside the part. You can section view stock model, your uh, solid, wireframe, or your toolpath data. And you can pick any or all of those to section view away. So the advanced toolpath display feature in Mastercam 2019 gives you additional ability to see specific segments of the toolpath. You can assign them different colors and you can assign them different line widths and line styles. So you could have some as solid lines and others as dashed lines. So just by looking at this toolpath on screen, you can get a lot more information about it than you could previously. So the new features in Mastercam are all tied into view sheets. We have added the ability in view sheets to preserve these settings and you can set up multiple view sheets with multiple views, which you could always do, but now you can set up your advanced toolpath display, you can set up your section view, and you can easily switch between view sheets and get different views of your part. And it just gives you more confidence that this is the right toolpath and it's doing the right thing. Mastercam's new advanced toolpath display gives you a number of tools that you can use to isolate and examine specific toolpath motion. This is especially useful in parts that have many toolpaths. Consider this OptiRough toolpath that roughs out the cavity. Mastercam's default toolpath display settings let you see the rapid moves in yellow, but there are still many types of cutting moves that you might want to examine. The first thing Advanced Toolpath Display does is assign more colors to different parts of your toolpaths, so you can tell them apart. In this example, the entry moves are green, and the microlift moves are brown. You can choose which types of toolpath motion to display. For example, turn off the rapid retracts so you can more clearly see the feed rate moves. You can also customize the colors assigned to each motion type. For example, you can make the microlift motions a bright red so they are easier to see. In addition to the color, you can also customize the style of the line. For example, you can use dashed lines or thicker lines. Now we'll hide the microlift motions and entry motions. You can see the toolpath's cutting passes much more clearly. Another useful option is the ability to customize drill point display. Displaying the drill tool diameter as a thick dashed line makes it easier to see. You can also customize the display of multi-axis toolpath vectors. For example, you can make the vector shorter so the toolpath is easier to see. This toolpath has feed rate retract moves. You can hide those too. Notice that the advanced toolpath display functions are also available in the toolpath manager toolbar. Toggle the multi-axis vectors off and on to focus on the cutting passes. When advanced toolpath display is turned on, Backplot also uses its colors. Finally, Mastercam lets you include the advanced toolpath display settings when you create bookmarks and view sheets. Combining these features lets you easily create and save highly customized views of your toolpath that you can return to with a single click. Advanced toolpath display gives users complete control over how their toolpaths 
are displayed. Mastercam 2019 introduces the new Section View feature, allowing you to expose hard-to-see areas such as molds or ports without changing your part geometry. To create a section view using an existing plane, click in the section column of the Planes Manager for the plane or planes you want to use. In this example, Section View cuts the screen display of the part based on the top plane, sectioning off the stock model, shaded entities, wireframe entities, and toolpaths. The cutaway is in the direction of the plane's z-axis. More than one section view can be active simultaneously. Section View on the View tab, or Section View on the Planes Manager, must be selected to show a section view in the graphics window. When section view is toggled off, the section view in the graphics window no longer displays, but the X remains in the section column of the Planes Manager. This indicates that a section view is still assigned to that plane. The section view toggle has a list of entities that can be displayed. Choosing the entities from the list enables the section view for that entity type. By deselecting toolpaths, any toolpath that has been sectioned will display in full. Show Caps fills the section of the part with a solid but translucent cap. The opacity of the caps can be configured on the shading page of the System Configuration dialog box. You can also create a section view when creating or editing a plane. Select Section under Set As to identify the plane as a section view. Section view must be toggled on during plane creation and editing. Editing the active section view plane will update the display and the graphics view automatically. Section View Planes and Settings can also be saved as part of a view sheet. These options are set in the View Sheets page in the System Configuration dialog box, or by right-clicking a view sheet and selecting Settings. The top plane section view is now saved to this view sheet. When returning to View Sheet 1, the section view does not display. Section view must be toggled on. The new section view feature makes it easier to expose hard to see areas and can be saved with a plane or view sheet. Since Mastercam 2017, you could change the appearance of solid, mesh, and surface models to metallic, plastic, or glossy. In Mastercam 2019, these have been replaced by a range of metal, plastic, and glass attributes that can be applied to the entire model or individual entities. Toggle the material display on the View tab. This can only be applied in shaded or outline shaded modes. After selecting material, any solids, surfaces, or meshes displayed in the current graphics window will be rendered as the respective material. The default material is metallic. You can change the active material from the Set Material dropdown on the Home tab. The Set Material dropdown is also available on the Mini Toolbar, accessed through the Graphics window right-click menu. Each material has seven levels, from transparent to opaque. Select the entire model or individual entities and then choose a material and level from the Set Material dropdown.
You can also set the material when creating a stock model on the stock definition page. The new material attributes are saved within the part file and give you more flexibility to achieve a more realistic appearance.